Hi, my name's Steve Mann and this is Paper Classroom. Welcome to another Water and Chemical Additives tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we're going to be talking about antiforms and deformers. Now, antiforms prevent form being formed and deformers get rid of it once it has been formed. So we tend to use these two words interchangeably, but uh, really we, we're talking about deformers. We're talking about destroying form. So the first question is, what actually is form? Well, there's a bit of a picture of forming. It's a collection of bubbles and it causes us all sorts of problems in the paper industry. You can get form spots in your sheet. Uh, it, it can uh, give you the uh, clue that you've got air in your stock, which can cause you formation problems and therefore strength problems. So going back to form, what is form? It's a collection of bubbles. What is a bubble? Well, a bubble is a very thin membrane of water where, and maybe some other chemicals, where the pressure inside the bubble is greater than the pressure outside of the bubble. So if we were looking for a nice model of a bubble, we could do nothing better than look at a balloon as an example. That's a thin membrane of rubber rather than a membrane of liquid. And the pressure inside is greater than the pressure outside. So how do we get rid of a balloon? We pop it with a pin. So how do we get rid of these bubbles that collectively we call form? Well, one way, of course, is to get a lot of pins and go pop, 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 pop and do them all. But there are far too many. So we need to do the same thing, but in a much more clever way. So we need to throw something at each of these bubbles that will cause a little hole in that membrane and then all the air will rush out and you've got no bubble. And the materials we use for these are other liquids, particularly silicones and high molecular weight alcohols. Now these type of products are immiscible with water. In other words, they don't mix. It's like oil. So what will happen is a droplet of that material will launch itself at a bubble and it will penetrate that membrane, just like the pin penetrated the membrane of the balloon and out the air will shoot and then you've no more bubble. Sometimes, well, there are problems with these liquids. Uh, the fact that the droplets get smaller and smaller until they're useless and we'll we'll talk about that in a moment so sometimes these systems come with a solid material there as well usually a hydrophobic solid something like talc mixed in so you've got a hydrophobic liquid and a hydrophobic solid so sometimes liquid only system sometimes solid and liquid system what this particular tutorial about is the factors that affect the efficiency of these deformers. One of them, of course, is the solubility. It needs to be completely insoluble. If it was completely soluble in water, it would just go into that membrane and reinforce it, make it thicker and stronger. So it needs to be something that's insoluble that will destroy the continuity of the film. The size of these droplets that we create is also important. If it's too big, it's not really a problem. It just means you're, you're wasting your antiform material. You've got a bigger particle there than you really need. If it's a small particle that we would call the right size, it will penetrate the bubble and it will pop. If it was too small, then one of two things will happen. Either the droplet will hit the outside of the bubble and bounce off, 
because it doesn't have the momentum to carry on through because it's too light, too small. Or if your membrane, say, is that thick and here's the bubble, as, as it passes through, the membrane will seal behind it and seal behind it and seal behind it, come out the other side. So size is probably the most critical thing, droplet size. Too small, it doesn't do any good at all. Too big, does the job, but wastes his money. Just the right size gives you the most cost effective system. <clears throat> the presence of other hydrophobic solids can cause problems. Remember a hydrophobic solid, hydrophobic means water hating. So if you've got a hydrophobic liquid and a hydrophobic solid, then those two things are likely to come together. And then the hydrophobic solid doesn't do the job you want it to do. And the hydrophobic liquid doesn't do the job you want it to do. And so you will continue to generate foam. Shear forces. These are the things that cause the problems. You've got your droplets of deformer just the right size going around the system. But as they go through things like pumps and screens and centrifugal cleaners, those shear forces will distort those droplets, distort the shape, maybe even split them into two or more smaller droplets. So because of the shear, the droplets will go smaller and smaller. And as we've just said, the smaller they are, the less effective they are. Repeated use. The more your antiform and deformer goes round the system, the more it's going to be subjected to shear. The smaller the droplet's going to be, the less effective they're going to be. Then you've got competing chemicals. You might have other things in there that are competing for that site within that bubble that will cause the split to form. And surfactant concentration. So these antiforms and deformers could be called surfactants. And if you put too much surfactant in, then the surfactant itself will become the membrane and therefore the form will get worse and worse. So there's a maximum amount of antiform that you can have there. Put more in and you will create more form rather than destroy it. And finally, dissolved salts. If you've got some quite a lot of dissolved salts in your system, they will actually reinforce the strength of that bubble and therefore it'll make it more difficult for deformers to penetrate through that membrane. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I've actually covered this in a, a level three video I made two or three years ago. So if you look at the uh, description of this video underneath, you will see there's a link. That's actually a copy of the link. And if you click on that link, you can go to and see my uh, level three video and you'll see some animations of um, antiform or, or deformer particles penetrating the bubble membrane. So, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. Please feel free to leave any comments and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.